Shalom and it's a blessing to join you to meditate on God's Word. We started our devotionals with understanding the wisdom of God. We spoke about how it is an important quality for every believer, for every Christian. We saw yesterday of uh, the way that God is the source of this wisdom. Today, as we look into scripture, we are going to be looking at this wisdom that comes from above. And what are some of those attributes that we see of the wisdom of God? Reading from James chapter 3, verses 17 to 18. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. In our natural world, we may be considering people who are wise. We may see people who speak intelligibly, who hold a lot of scholarly titles, or who may have an education, or who are basically uh, achieve, achieving a lot. We may automatically think that they are wise. God's word clearly places the gaining of wisdom from above as the highest pursuit. So, so we do understand and know that true wisdom comes only from God and it is a good and perfect gift that God has given us. Through the scripture we read today, it shows us what godly wisdom is like. This verse highlights for us certain attributes that the wisdom of God looks like. So let's take this time to look through those attributes. The first thing it says is that the wisdom of God is pure, which means that it is undefiled, it is holy, it is clean, and it is free from evil. The next description it says is it's peaceable, meaning that it does not engender strife. It is um, living in peace with others. It's pursuing peace. It's always promoting peace. The third attribute that the scripture talks about is that it is gentle, means that it is forbearing. It, is, it makes allowances for maybe some mistakes. It makes allowances for faults and there is a way that there is kindness and graciousness shown. The next thing that heavenly wisdom is that it is willing to yield, which means it's open to reason. It is being easily approachable, not being, not holding on to stubborn ways. Heavenly wisdom is also full of mercy, which means it's compassionate. It's disposed to show mercy and kindness even at places of difficulty. And we see that this is also uh, followed by certain good fruits. Heavenly wisdom is also impartial, which means it is fair, it is loving, without being a respecter of people. And lastly, it shows that it is sincere, or in other words, it's without hypocrisy. It's not fake. It's something that cannot be assumed. We also see that through these attributes of wisdom, wisdom always gives a blessing, a blessing of righteousness and peace. So living by God's wisdom produces a fruit of righteousness, a fruit of peace. We see that this kind of wisdom only comes from Jesus Christ. And these descriptions that we read today completely personifies who Jesus is, completely describes the nature of Jesus, him being peaceful, being pure, being undefiled, being full of mercy, being impartial, being sincere, being gentle. And this is what you and I have access today. So the next time we need wisdom, we know 
that all of us who are in Christ can receive these attributes from him because he himself is the embodiment of wisdom. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we see the description of wisdom. We see what godly wisdom is about. When we make our decisions, may we come to you and learn and understand that as we make our choices, we need to have these attributes of, of having our wisdom as pure and peaceable and gentle and sincere. Teach us, Father, to be alert to your voice at all times. We once again praise you for this knowledge you have given us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.